Good. Okay, so next slide, please. Perfect. So why is it important to be professional? Why is it important to be professional? So when you are working with tourists, why is it important to act like a professional? Okay, so talk to a neighbor and come up with one <coughs> or two reasons why it's important to act like a professional. So talk to your neighbor. Talked about. Does anyone want to tell me what your team talks about? What did your team talk about? Why is it important to act like a professional? So people want to come back. So you don't necessarily. Good. Did everyone hear that? No. So people <laughs> want to come back and hear what you have to say. So people want to hear from you. Good, that was good. One more. To make money. To make money. Good. So when you act professional, you can make money. That was good. Thank you. Okay. So today I'm going to talk about through some examples of things that are words or phrases that are professional and words or phrases that maybe are not as professional. So right here, a common phrase, I'm sorry. Can everyone say, I'm sorry? I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. So another way to say that is my apologies. So my apologies that you, um, your train was late. My apologies. It's a kinder or more nice way to say, I'm sorry. Okay? Next one, you should go to. So if a tourist comes to you and wants to know where they should go, Instead of telling them you should go to, you could recommend them. Everyone say recommend. Recommend. I recommend going to the museum. Make sense? Okay, good. Next one is hold on. So if someone is trying to talk to you, but you need a minute, instead of saying hold on, you could say one moment, please. Mm -hmm. So everyone say one moment, please. One moment, please. Good. Do you hear how that sounds more nice or more polite? Please. Please. Yes, the word please here. Instead of hold on. Good. And one more, I like. So if someone is talking to you, instead of saying I like, you could say, personally, I suggest. So it's a more soft way to suggest or recommend something. Make sense? I want to say, personally, personally, I suggest. I suggest. Personally, I suggest going to the cafe on the corner. Personally? It means like what you think, but it's not I like. Mm -hmm. So what you think, what you like. Make sense? Good, okay. And so here are some helpful questions. So if you don't know what someone is saying or you need to ask them a question, here are some more professional ways to ask questions. Okay, so right here it says not professional or professional. Can everyone say professional? Professional. Good, and remember, professional, these are some words that describe professional, right? What we talked about earlier. So instead of saying, wait, what, if you do not understand someone, you could say, my apologies, I didn't understand that. Can you say it again? So to your partner, say this sentence. Good. So if someone talks too fast or you don't understand their English, you can ask them to say it again. Say, my apologies. Remember, that's a 
more professional way to say I'm sorry. Remember that? Okay, and right here, what do you need? So if someone comes to you and they need something, instead of saying, what do you need? You could say, yes, do you have a question? Everyone say, yes, sir, ma'am, or yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, yes ma'am. Do you have a question? Do you have a question? Good. And let's see, one more. Can I help you with anything else? Everyone say this. Can I help you with anything else? So if you are talking to someone, this is a way you could see if they need anything else. Does that make sense? Sure. Good. Okay. So that is a little bit. So on a scale of one to five, five being I understand this and one being I don't understand this, where, do, what do you think about this? Everyone hold up. So we have threes, twos, fives. Okay. So we're going to talk some more and use some examples of conversations to help you understand this. Okay? Okay. Good.